talk, ask me questions, we just talk and do it at the same time, okay? Um, can you do the acid today? I'm definitely doing the acid okay. today. There's okay. no way I'm not doing the acid. Okay. You're All not right. taking the whole one off, are you? No, okay. I'm not taking the whole toenail off. It's okay, everybody. <laughs> we got it under control. No. All right, you ready? Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's Dr. Nicole Friels again, removing another ingrown toenail. I feel like I say this every five minutes now. <laughs> okay, so this young lady here had her removed twice in Oklahoma and they did use the acid, but you guys don't remember exactly what acid was used. And I don't blame you, I mean, who would actually remember that? So typically in our practice, we only have about 5% chance of reoccurrence. That typically happens if a dog steps on it or if you're picking at it, I have a lot of kids that kind of pick in there, you're gonna create the ingrown on your own. Do you pick at this? Yes. You do? A little bit. A little bit. When it starts getting, like I so start okay. feeling like. And that makes sense. But if it gets sore, just call me and I can kind of take a peek and see if there's anything in there that's bothering you. Maybe it's like a piece of dead skin or some kind of uh, debris that's impacted. Okay. So when you do that, you can introduce bacteria, which is not good. So then we get an infection. So let's go ahead and numb you up. I know. So I did one on the other foot a while ago, right? Or was it? Uh -uh. No? No, you just treated one that a bad doctor had done. Okay. Ooh. Bad doctor. I don't want to be that. Don't, don't lump me in that category. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. A little cold spray and a bee sting. You can do it. Quick little stick. So you can see how red it is on the outside here. You don't have any problems on the other side, right? No. You doing okay up there? Yeah. Good deal. You're a pro at this. He'll that probably hurts. give you this stuff and do it at your own, in your <laughs> own bathroom at home. Which please quit doing that, people. I keep getting all these nasty ingrown toenails that are infected because everybody's doing it themselves, which makes sense, you know. If we can avoid going to the doctor, I don't blame you. I do the same thing. So just gonna get you nice and numb. After this, you're not gonna feel anything. You're gonna go home and stay off of this for me, right? Yeah. Good, no chores, nothing. No, she's gonna go home and rest. Good, maybe watch some Netflix? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite show you've been watching on there? Um, Orange is the New Black. I haven't seen that. Really? <laughs> I hear it's really good though. I just started watching Handmaid's Tale. Uh -huh. Oh my, have you seen that? Uh -uh. Oh my God. I don't know if you should be seeing that. <laughs> you might be too young for that. <laughs> Not what I was thinking it was uh, about. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and let her get nice and numb. And then I'll be back in. We'll take that little piece out. It should take just a few minutes and uh, it'll be all over. Okay, see you in a second. Hey everybody, we're back. Gonna take out this little ingrown toenail. So watch with this. Um, how long has it been painful? for you in this um, area? I've had to do this for probably four or five years. What? Because yeah. oh, you had it removed twice. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I got you. Told you up just a bit. And how long has this most recently been painful? Um, about three weeks. Okay. Yeah. Well, it should feel much better when you wake up tomorrow. <laughs> you can see how that whole area is puffing out. So what happens is it gets so ingrown and it penetrates the skin and then a bacterial infection pops up in there. Because you know, our, our feet are filthy. Everyone's feet is dirty. You know, we have fungus and bacteria, all kinds of stuff that lives in our shoes. There we go, it's out. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing else in there. Do a check. Yeah, I can feel the scar tissue in there. Yeah, it's a really rough kind of feel to the skin. It's like fibrous. Little piece of skin. Don't want that guy in there. If you leave that little skin in there, it can cause a... So now's the hard part. You gotta determine, is that, is there any nail? Because it's so scarred in there. Make sure I don't feel anything. I feel like, I'm gonna try, maybe there's a teeny little piece back in there. Let's double check because she's had this one done two times prior to seeing us. We will not say the doctor's name in Oklahoma on air. <laughs> oh no, the doctor in Oklahoma done a good job. Okay. But the man that's here from East the back. Oh God. There we go. 
Um, I'm gonna have to go grab the small instruments because it's so tight back in there for me. We don't wanna have her go through this again. Most of the time, boom, in and out. But we don't wanna take any chances. Let's go ahead and get that one piece there too. Make it look pretty on the outside too. Doing good up there? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, there are so many ingrown toenail procedures you can do. Back in the olden days, these stats. Um, when my grandfather was a podiatrist, they used to cut here and here to remove and flap it back oh, to, wow. to be able to visualize it. Now, you know, with the use of chemical and everything, we don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. But when we have recurrent ingrown toenails, you can certainly, that's an option. There we go. That's what I want to get. Perfect. Okay. Feels good. So we told her before we started filming that if, yeah, you can just see that scar tissue. Okay. Um, we told her this returns for whatever reason. I'm hoping that we're using a different chemical than what was used the first time. We talked about phenol. Okay. Um, it's commonly used. I think it's less commonly used now. Personally, um, it creates more of a burn. Okay. You actually have to hold the sticker stick in here longer um, and it drains more. So that's an older chemical, but we use the sodium hydroxide like I told you and um, it will it creates a burn, but not too much of a burn. I guess just enough. <laughs> and then you don't have to hold the sticks in as long. You have less drainage, less pain. It's kind of less of a mess. Hopefully more effective. And yes, <laughs> and more effective. Oh, it's time. You're doing great. You're doing great for having this done so many times. So if anyone has any comments below, if you've dealt with or had recurrent ingrown toenails and you have questions, please let me know. There's many, you know, different things that we can do, especially if you've had an ingrown toenail and you know, you're dealing with um, some discoloration and that's, that happens. You know, when you have ingrowns that keep coming back and back and back, fungus can get in there. So any, you know, uh, discolored hue, yellowing white dots on the top and you're like this doesn't look right or if it's thickened then make sure you give us a call so we can take that take a look at it and make sure you're not trying to get a fungal infection thank you all right let's get it all wrapped up and then you're done so this one took a little longer than than usual and again i was just kind of fighting some scar tissue in there and i want to make sure there wasn't any nail because we definitely don't want you to go through this for the fourth time. No, she's been through too many. That's right. All right, girls. Well, here it's for you to take home. You can use that. Okay, everybody. Another one down. Please, like I said, drop a comment, sign up for our channel, ring the bell, um, and we'll be here if you need anything. I'll see you next time.